Yeah. yeah. So I think today, you know, our real concentration is going to be that 22nd pick, right? So just going through that and, and feeling comfortable with it, okay? Any chance, in anybody's opinion, that we see anything slide through to, to where we are now, 22? I think my main role as the general manager during the draft is to support the guys that have been out there watching the games all year long. You know, they, they worked really hard on talking to players, seeing players, um, getting every little piece of information to build that list. And, you know, a lot of times under the gun, uh, things happen. Uh, I think my role is to make sure that these guys rely on what they saw and stay with uh, how they were thinking and not let the moment change that. If you go 12 through 23 every year, there's been a player that pops it. Have you noticed anything as far as the trend? Like, is it like, for example, is it the Why? Ethic or the mentality? Yeah. The... All right, I'm going to give you like, I went back to 14 and 15 because I think that's enough time to really tell us about the players, and I'll put up those players. And, and just for the just for the exercise, you can see that why guys pop and why guys didn't make it. And number 22 could be a great pick for us. And he's there, right? He's always there. Where is he, right? And if he's there and you guys don't think we can get him at 22, then I need to know and we need to know. You know, we did a really good job, I still think, of moving to go get Keandre. I thought that was a good strategy. I thought it, it, it went exactly the way you guys thought it. That talent is an NHL talent. Like we have like, uh, you know, KHL games, all these first rounders who get flushed out, they're not even close to that level of talent. But he had more will than most players combined. Yeah. I'm just reading the notes from what we went through. This, this last year was about the best it's been. You know, there's no exact science, but I will tell you that just the exercise we did on the right, we're, 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 we're hedging our bets, I think, a little too much. That we think all these guys are that, you know, this guy's definitely playing, this guy's fallback, because it's, it's just not, it can't be true. And it's natural, I do it, we all do it. So just keep that in mind as we, as we go forward. This is, you know, we're picking first overall, we've, we've got a ping pong ball to be the luckiest team in the league right now. And that, let's take advantage of that, and we will. But now 22 to me is, as I listen to you guys now, as we move forward in these meetings, as, as we're all listening to you, I want to know, like, I want to hear, like, how bad you want guys. How, do we need to move up? Do I need to get out of 22? Do we go somewhere else? This is all part of the strategy, and, and most of it's going to be developed because how I hear you talking about these guys, right? But now it's you got two days to dial it in, and, and, and who do you really want, and why, and what can they do for us? Day to day. In the war room, we, we had a shorter staff than we usually did. We had, uh, you know, John Davidson, our president, was with us, and, and Chris Drury, our assistant GM, Gordy Clark, uh, of course, director of player personnel, who runs our draft, Nikolai Bobrov, who, who runs our European scouting. We had Chris Morehouse, our director of uh, North American scouting, was here. Kevin Maxwell, our, our pro scout. Doug Risebro here, who, who was a consultant for us that does a little bit of everything. And, and of course, we had David Quinn, our head coach, was here, too. So it was a unique experience of having the war room here as opposed to the draft floor, but, uh, but it worked out well. Sully, you go ahead and enter, okay? Yeah. Great, thank you. Bye bye. With the first pick in the 2020 NHL draft, the New York Rangers are proud to select from the Ramuski Oceanic, Alexi Lafreniere. <laughs> Great day for all of us. Yeah, it is. It is so special. Yeah, it's uh, it's tough to hide it all this time. You know, we did our best, right? Yeah, I did too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if we didn't yeah. have another pick in the first round, we'd probably have a beer and enjoy. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, Alexi, congratulate your parents. It's Alex It's Hugo and Natalie, correct? Yeah. And, and congratulate your sister. It's a fantastic time. Well deserved by you and well deserved by your family. Can you can you get him can you get him in the shot? I'd like to say hi. Welcome. Say hello to everybody. Hello everybody. Congratulations. Hi, how are you?
Welcome to the Rangers. Congratulations. Congratulations, Natalie. Congratulations, Hugo. All right. Very nice. Hey. That's uh, our head coach. That's the last time you're gonna like him, right there. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you love me now. Hopefully, you love me later. Yeah. Congratulations, everybody. It's quite a quite a day for everybody. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Yeah, I think at 22, you know, we're going to see how the board develops, and and uh, I think in a, we'll be in a position later in the first to, to take the best player available and and uh, look down the road who's going to be the best player in three or four years. Is there a center available? Schneider may be going here, you think? Right. Uh, for 15, would you take Schneider? Yes. All day. Character, muscle. And, and when you saw this year's playoffs, those types of D were what every team had that made them work, made them win. Every team down the stretch had those guys. Absolutely. Yeah, I think you. If you walk out of the draft with the best player and then a top four defenseman after the first day, I'm jumping up and down. You're going to take the pick? Okay, I'll be here. Thanks. Very nice. Very, very helpful. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, you got it. Okay, thank you. Bye -bye. With the 19th pick from the Brandon Wheat Kings, the New York Rangers select Braden Schneider. Now we feel pretty amazing too. Yeah. We feel pretty good about it too. We got a pretty happy room here. I've been trying to, I've been trying to trade up for you for six picks. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. Don't use it against me in contract negotiations. <laughs> the future of the organization is really bright. And now it's on to this next generation and this next core group. And, and I'm excited. We can't wait to get back on the ice and, and see what we have. <laughs>